so here we are <laughs> playing with our Maybelline and Paddington Double Doodles. Yes! Oops, excuse me, I have eight. They are seven weeks old! Look at us! Whoops, and they're very wanting to come up here and lick the camera. Because it's fun! Yes! It's fun! Hey! <laughs> So our double doodles are a combination of a miniature first generation labradoodle and a miniature F1B red golden doodle that we both, um, both of them were bred, born, raised right here. So we have a lot of history with them and this is our first double doodle litter and we're really excited, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Here's our little light pink, and dark pink just had to go potty, so here she is. Hey! <laughs> Here's our little lavender shadow. Baxter! Hey, Baxter! <laughs> Here we have little orangey. Orangey's always in my lap. Orangey and Blackie. <laughs> All right, who am I missing? Somebody's behind me. Here, come here, Callie. Callie's sitting here behind me. Here's our Callie girl. She's actually uh, turning out to be quite dark red. Yeah. Yeah, more of a, a red look than uh, even the little black boy. Say hi. No, we're not going to bite. No, we're not going to bite. This is not vicious biting. This is called puppy nipping. Yes, puppy nipping. And so see how he's trying to do that? We say no. And we teach them over and over again. No, you can sniff my hands, you can lick my hands if I want you to. But if I don't want you to nip on me or bite me, we're gonna stop that, we're gonna stop it now. Yes, that's right! Yeah! And you just get the kids to know how to do that, how to grab their snout and squeeze it and give them a harsh no, and then even the kids can be part of the training process. Green loves toys, absolutely loves toys. Yes, you talk about a fetching dog. There we go. And they're all gonna chase her. <laughs> Get her! There you can see, you can see Callie's little white boot, little white shoe there. Where is it? There it is. I have no idea if you guys were able to actually see this. They are jumping on me and so my hand is shaking. Yes, yes! What do you say? Come here. <laughs> Here's little light pinky. Hi, baby. I hear you. Yes, I do. I do. I hear you. So. <laughs> yes, my, my pajamas from last Christmas. This is what I'm wearing. And they're dogs. My family gets a kick out of that. Yes. You're scratching. We need baths. Everybody needs a bath. We have been playing hard. Yes, I see you. Come over here. Here, Pinky has the toy now. Say hi. Can you sit? Can you sit? You're like, no, I'd like to play with your arm. That's what I want to do. Our day and training consists of uh, what they want to do and what I want them to do. Yeah. All part of the process. At this age, they're still learning, and both the retrievers and the poodle and them, they just really want to please. So when they do something right, we just love all over them and praise them, and they're like, oh, I'm gonna do that again. I am gonna repeat that behavior because I got awesome behavior. Where are you going? What are you doing, huh? So this is our last week for most of the puppies. Some of them are staying an extra week. Um, to, to be a little closer to Christmas. 
And so um, we're doing buddy crate training right now where everybody gets their buddy. And there's our, our kennels are stacked up there. They're usually down on the floor when we're doing our nap time and our bedtime. And we are now ready this weekend to trade and get into our uh, single crates with our scented items. So at that time, I'll know how well they're doing crate training. Get it! Get that guy! Yeah! Hey, Callie. Hey, Callie. And during the day, they love music. And I'm probably gonna post the little uh, playlist that they're used to. Believe it or not, if they're if the station changes or they get a different playlist, they're not as settled. And I if, I don't really do that on purpose. It's just the music I listen to. It's what they're used to. And many times, uh, if somebody's calling me and saying, you know what, I'm leaving my puppy today. They're just not happy being alone. I will give them a playlist, and that, believe it or not, is what they want to hear. Oh no, we're not gonna tug a war. So a little footnote there. We never do tug of war. We never do games where there's a loser because that actually teaches the dog to have a little more dominance and trying to become that winner. So we uh, we actually don't do those kind of games. No, we don't. No. As you can see, they're a lot more active now that they're older, but this is only gonna last a few minutes and then they're gonna be tired. Who's back there? Come here. Come on. Come on. They're like, how do we get out of here? Yeah, there you are. Okay, we're going to say goodbye because we're way past our mark. And we're going to go ahead and after we wear out this energy, that's when we're going to head into our nap time for this afternoon. So say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Oh, we're going potty. Well, good girl. Go and potty in the potty. That's what we want to do. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. I'm being attacked, viciously attacked by puppy breath. Yes. All right. Who did I not say goodbye to? Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Yes. We'll see you all later. That's right. Bye bye.